Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the InStyler and I'm sure you guys heard about it or seen it on TV. I've had mine for about a year so I feel like I could give an in-depth review about it and tell you guys why I cannot live without it. This is my number one best hair tool if i had to choose between any hair tool to live with i would choose this one so i'm just going to talk a little bit about it and then the other half of the video is going to be me showing you how it works so first of all this is how it looks the barrel is one and a quarter inch and then this is the power button you just click it once and it's going to automatically be the highest level of heat for medium you click it again and then for low you click it again there we go so I use high for my hair. So this part is the barrel, which you don't want to touch. And when I first got this, I used um, a protective guard that, that came with the iron. And it looks like this. And it would normally just go on like this. You push it in, but I don't want to touch my iron um, because I just used it. And it's too hot right now. But it also has bristles over here and here to brush out your hair, which I actually like. So I brush through my hair anyway before I start using the iron, but it's nice to have these bristles because it just combs it again. And inside is this little um, plate, and you're not supposed to touch it when it's on because it heats up as well. And obviously, don't touch the barrel. I do definitely recommend using the protective guard when you first start out because I actually used this iron back like back in 2011 when I didn't even own this because I just got this last year. Um, and when I first used it, I hated it. Oh my gosh, I was like, I'm never, I'm never gonna buy this because I burned myself. I was using my friend's one and I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't read the manual or anything. I didn't look anything up online. So I just went for it and I pretty much did it the wrong way, the way you're not supposed to do it. And I ended up burning my skin and that mark is still on me so you don't want that so definitely use this bracket for your own safety and uh, also people tend not to read the manuals or the instruction booklets but please do so when you properly know how to use it trust me you're going to be obsessed with this thing just as i am so the main reason why i'm obsessed and love this hair iron is because it leaves you that freshly blowout look like when you go to the salon and they blow out your hair, that fresh look that you just came out of a salon, that's the look that this leaves you if you do it the right way. And also if you have layered hair, you're going to love this because uh, this really nicely brings out each and every layer of your hair. So that's basically the main reason why I bought it because I wanted a tool that will give you that blowout look without having to curl your hair. This is basically a, a straightener, but you can use it to straighten and then um, curve your ends, and that's what I wanted. I know you could do that also with um, a flat iron, but this one leaves your hair so much more voluminous than a flat iron does. And I've actually recommended this to friends before I even made this video, and they wrote me telling me how much they loved it and are obsessed with it because it really does the job. So if you do get this, I recommend reading through the instructions, watching uh, the DVD that they send you because if you do it the right way you're gonna love the outcome um, I think people get turned off because they're like how do you how do you use this thing it makes noise when you um, when you actually use it but if you learn how to use it which is really simple it took me like a day or two to get used to it um, you will love 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 this product so pricing wise this runs for about $99.99 on Macy's.com so it's about $100 but I got mine for $79.99 because I used a coupon code and you can find coupon codes for Macy's just by Google searching it, um, promo code Macy's.com or whatever and usually it's free shipping if it's um, over I think $50 or some somewhere around there so this I got for free shipping and they charge $79.99 plus tax uh, so it came out to around 80 something but honestly this was, I've spent more money on hair irons, I've spent $250 on hair irons that I didn't even like so this was definitely a great investment and I love it and I'm satisfied with it which is why I wanted to make this video to share with you guys how I get my hair to look like this like the, the curved look in the end and also this doesn't just straighten and give you that curved look you could also curl like literally curl your hair so this straightens curls gives you lots of volume it does multiple things so that was pretty much the basic intro about this iron if you want to see how to actually use it and how to achieve this look please keep watching all right so I currently have my hair up and I'm gonna take it down um, I just washed my hair this morning so now it's nighttime and I let it air dry I didn't this is my crazy natural hair I'm just going to part it I usually like to do do half up half down 
I'm just gonna twist it and I do some crazy like top knot kind of bun thingy just to keep it in place so as you can tell I have a lot of hair I have thick hair and I have long hair and naturally it's just puffy with a few curls here and there so before we even mess with the iron the most important thing is to use heat protective spray and I cannot stress how important this is. When I first started using hot tools back in middle school, I never used to use heat protective spray and I cannot tell you how much damage it caused my hair. So I'm telling you, you must, you must, you must use a heat protective spray. You don't want to damage your hair and the one that I use is Tresemme. Um, it's thermal creations, heat protection up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And I really like this hairspray. I actually got this because I just ran out of my Chi heat protective spray and I don't have the bottle because I just threw it out. But this stuff is just as good. So between this and the Chi heat protective spray, I definitely recommend those two. So I'm just going to spray this onto my entire bottom half. Especially the bottoms. Don't forget the bottoms. They're the most important because usually when you um, use hot tools, you usually concentrate or spent a lot of time on the bottom. And then I'm gonna use a paddle brush to brush out my hair. You can get these anywhere, I got mine at the dollar store. So, just brush it out. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is just split my hair into two halves. I'm just gonna put this side back because I'm just gonna work with my left side. And I'm gonna grab about this much hair which isn't a lot, but I prefer to work in small pieces rather than big. And it even says it in the instruction book um, not to use big pieces and that the iron would automatically turn off if it senses that, it, that you're using big pieces of hair. So um, keep it to about this much. The first thing you want to make sure you're going to do is whatever side you're going to do your hair, right or left, you want to make sure that the barrel is facing outwards. So it's not this way. It's this way and you have to make sure that it's this way. I've seen people on YouTube um, do it this way and it doesn't work for them but that's why it's not working because you have to um, keep your barrel outwards. So if you're doing your left side you have to do it this way and then if you're doing your right side you have to make sure that, that the barrel is facing outwards so it'll be this way. So you're just gonna insert your iron in between your hair starting from the top. You're gonna press down and it's gonna make a weird noise. So what I just did in the end, I basically straightened it up until this point. I don't like a pin straight end. And I rotate the barrel, like if it's this way, I'm rotating it slightly to the top. So from side to the top, and that's gonna leave it, um, it's gonna give it a nice little curve. And for me, running it through one time is enough. So now I'm just gonna take another piece and do the same thing. I know that it says like in the instructional to hold it for 10 to 12 seconds. I wouldn't recommend that, just my personal um, recommendation because that's kind of a long time to hold heat, like not just for this iron but for any iron. If you're holding it for 10 to 12 seconds, I just feel like it's, it's too much heat for your hair. At one time it can burn it. Um, even if you use heat protective spray, I still wouldn't re recommend holding it that much. Instead, I would rather you go over it twice quickly than holding it in one place. So I pretty much finished one side of my hair and you can see the difference. So this is my natural hair before using the InStyler and then this is after. Let me just so you definitely see the difference there.
just finished my bottom half of my hair. Let me show you guys. So that was the bottom half and now I'm just gonna work on the top. So let me take down. So I tied the bottom half of my hair and now we're just gonna work on the top half of my hair. And right now is a time that I would suggest for you to split your hair however you desire. Which I'm gonna split mine in the middle, um, but that usually changes. Like I'll split in the middle and then after I finish my hair, sometimes I either keep it or I'll switch it up. So, Alright, so now that we split the hair, we're just going to apply heat protective again. And then use the paddle brush again to brush it out. Do the same thing to the other side. So now when I do my other half of my hair, I usually leave the front for last. So I work from back to front. So taking the last piece over here. Just do the same thing that I did before. And then for the front piece, I do it a little differently. I mean, I still rotate the barrel, but then I, I rotate it towards the back. So, for instance, all right. Like, I still rotated it, but I went towards the back so that it would stay out of my face. And you could see the difference between natural hair and tamed hair. Let me just finish this side. Alright, so now I'm going to take down my other half of my hair and just run my fingers through all of my hair. See uh, which side I want to part it. So I know in my last video some of you were asking what products I use to keep my hair shiny and it's these two products. I usually alternate between the two. I don't use both together. I just um, grab whatever's in front of me. The first one, this I've been using for a long time. It's this Chi um, Silk Infusion Silk Reconstruction Silk Reconstructing Complex. This is a really great product. Um, it just says Apply a small amount into palm of hands and work evenly throughout the hair. Leave in and proceed with styling, which is exactly what I do. So this I've used for a long time, but then I was introduced to this last year. Um, the Healthy Sexy Hair. And this is part of the um, Sexy Hair product line and I really love this stuff. And I use this along with the shampoo and conditioner, so it really leaves your hair nice. And this is the one I'm going to use today. So just apply really just a small, like, dime size amount. And just run it through your hair. And I mean, for most people, a dime size is enough for the hair. But for those who have a lot of hair, like me, um, I apply like one and a half to two dime sizes but today one is fine and just run it through your hair especially the ends that's where you really want to concentrate because um, the ends tend to be the driest part of people's hairs and avoid the roots like don't put any um, shiny stuff or product in your roots because your roots are going to naturally produce oil so if you put products it's just gonna make it oilier and you don't want that look this stuff just gives you a nice healthy uh, shine and what I love about these products is it lasts you a long time because I mean if you're only using a dime size for each time you do your hair it's gonna a bottle like this um, is gonna last you a long time 
So this is the final hair look. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.